O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. We pray to you, O Lord. You hear us in the morning. At sunrise, we offer our prayer and wait for your answer. Our scripture reading for this morning is the Old Testament reading that is slated for this Sunday. 1 Samuel 3. Listen for God's word to us. Now, the boy Samuel was ministering to the Lord under Eli. The word of the Lord was rare in those days, and visions were not widespread. At that time, Eli whose eyesight had begun to grow dim so that he could not see, was lying down in his room. The lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was lying down in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was. Then the Lord called, Samuel, Samuel. And he said, Here I am, and ran to Eli, and said, Here I am, for you called me. And but he said, I did not call, lie down again. So he went and lay down. The Lord called again, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel got up and went to Eli. Here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call my son, lie down again. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord. The word of the Lord had not been revealed to him. The Lord called Samuel a third time. And he got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. And Eli perceived that the Lord was calling the boy. Therefore Eli said to Samuel, Go lie down, and if he calls you, you shall say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. Now the Lord came and stood there calling as before, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, Speak, for your servant is listening. The grass withers and the flowers fade, but the word of our Lord endures forever. This call of Samuel was probably one of the first Sunday school lessons I remember teaching in um, the very first Sunday school class that I ever taught um, with a group of, uh, well, this was a, a large group. Um, this was kind of a I think kindergarten through uh, fourth grade group, so all elementary, um, one room Sunday school type house. And what struck me is how um, powerful it was for the children in my class that um, God had called Samuel, who was a boy, a young boy. He had been dedicated to uh, serving the Lord in the temple. So he had been dedicated and was living with the priest Eli um, after his mother had um, prayed to the Lord for a son and finally received one um, and had promised to dedicate him. So Samuel is there and not sure exactly what this voice is that's calling to him. And it's Eli who helps him to discern that it's God speaking. And sometimes we need help discerning when it is God speaking to us. Sometimes we want something so badly, we think that maybe God is calling to us. And sometimes we don't want something and feel like God may be calling us. <laughs> and it helps to have a person like Eli, who has... Um, some experience in listening, to be able to tell Samuel not what to do, but to deepen Samuel's way of listening to God so that Samuel knows who it is who is calling him. Now, this week, as we enter into this time after Epiphany, it's a, a relatively short stretch of ordinary time that will proceed through the rest of January, and then um, about through the first three weeks of February, <laughs> uh, 
And uh, we hear a lot about Jesus' calling and calling disciples and what it means to be called. And so I invite you, as you're listening to these scriptures, to reflect on times when you've heard God's voice, to reflect on times when you've had someone point out to you that maybe this call you're hearing is a call to do something more or different. And to both pray for those people and those places where we have heard God's call. Let us pray. Satisfy us with your love in the morning, and we will live this day in joy and praise. Eternal God, we rejoice this morning for the gift of life which we have received by your grace and the new life you have given in Jesus Christ. Especially we thank you for ministries of compassion, witness, and service. Those who make and grow the things we need. The communities in which we live. Strength and abilities to serve you today. Indications of your love at work in the world. God of grace, we offer our prayers for the needs of others and commit ourselves to serve them, even as you have served us in Jesus Christ. Especially we pray for the church in Africa, the conservation of soil, water, and air, those closest to us in this community, friends and relatives who are far away the judgment to know and do what is right. God of our salvation, as the light of the morning dawns, heaven and earth sing your praise. Call us to live and grow in faith that we may bear good fruit for the glory of your holy realm. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. May we continue to grow in the grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Bless the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Beloved, have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you tomorrow at noon for our midday prayer.